Now we need to be proficient in using the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula as read x equals minus b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I'm anticipating that we know how to figure out the a, b and c. Okay, we've used it for the discriminant. So in this case, we have x equals minus b. So we've got minus minus 4, so positive 4, plus or minus b squared. So minus 4 squared is 16. Take away 4 times 1 times 1. Square rooted all over 2a. So just 2. So here we have 4 plus or minus. Now 16 take away 4. So the square root of 12 all over 2. Now that root 12 can be simplified. If we can simplify a third down, we really need to do that. So this is the square root of 4 times 3. So that's 2 root 3 all over 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, plus or minus 2 root 3 divided by 2, so root 3. So x equals 2 plus or minus root 3. And that, these are the two solutions for the first uh, quadratic equation. Right, so for number 2, 3x squared minus 5x minus 10 equals 0. So, x equals minus b, so minus minus 5, so positive 5, plus or minus b squared, so 25, take away 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is minus 10. Square rooted all over 2a, so 2 lots of 3, which is 6. So we have 5 plus or minus 25, so 4 times 3 is 12, times by 10 is 120, so we get 145 inside the square root, all over 6. Okay, so can that be simplified down? Well, square root of 145, calculator just reiterates it is as it is, square root of 145, it cannot be simplified. So we can say that x is equal to 5 plus or minus root 145 over 6. Now you can leave it like that if you like, or if you prefer, you can divide both, both the 5 and the root 145 by 6, and say that's 5 sixths plus or minus a sixth of the square root of 145. You can write it like that if you wish. It's not necessary to rewrite it like that, but if you prefer, you can. Okay? So let's have a look at number three. We've got 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 equals 0. So x equals minus b, so minus 12, plus or minus b squared, so 144, Take away 4 times 4 times 9. Square rooted all over 2a, so 8. So in this case, we have minus 12 plus or minus. Now 144, take away 4 times 4 times 9. 4 nines are 36. So 4 36s. Uh, double 72, uh, 4 lots is 144, so that's just 0. So we have the square root of 0 all over 8. So we just have minus 12 over 8, and that of course can be simplified dividing top and bottom by 4, so we get minus 3 over 2. So there's actually one solution to this quadratic equation, minus 3 halves. So, last but not least, we have this 8 minus 6x minus 5x squared. I've purposely written the terms in a different order to make it a little bit more confusing when we're substituting in, but it shouldn't cause too many problems. So x is equal to minus b, so minus minus 6, so positive 6, plus or minus 
b squared, so 36, take away 4 times a, now a is the minus 5, the coefficient of x squared, times by c, which is 8, square rooted, all over 2a, so 2 lots of minus 5, so minus 10. Okay, so we've got the 6, plus or minus, now minus 4 times minus 5 is 20, 28 uh, 160, so we're going to get 196 square rooted, all over minus 10. So 196, I know 4 can go in it. Um, so square root 196, ah, 14. Okay, so maybe I should have spotted that. Um, but that's me not remembering my 14 times table. So if I was going to simplify this down, you could say that 6 plus or minus um, 2 root, well, dividing that through by 4, we get um, 9, no, not 19, um, uh, so 4's into 19 go 4, so then we've got 5, uh, sorry, we've got 3 left over, so 36, so 49, apologies, over minus 10. So root 49 obviously is 7, so we get 6, or, 6 plus or minus 2 lots of 7, so 14, over minus 10. Now I wouldn't want to leave it like that, so we could say that this is equal to 6 plus 14 uh, over minus 10, so we get 20 over minus 10, so minus 2, or 6 take away 14, which is minus 8, uh, divided by minus 10, so 8 tenths or 4 fifths. So actually x equals minus 2 or 4 fifths, okay? And they are the solutions to the final quadratic equation there.